the major parts which you need to know um, are the mouth, the esophagus is very important, the stomach, uh, the duodenum, is, the pancreas. Pancreas is also an organ which produces some enzymes still, the chemicals or the enzymes. And then the colon, this one we call it, uh, the, the, the big one, if you look at this one there, we call it the large intestine, all this. It is divided into three parts, but you just have to know that it's called the large intestine. Jejunum is, is part of a uh, large intestine. Colon is just part of a large intestine. This is ascending. When you say ascending, because it is mo mo moving up, it's going up. And then descending, because when the food comes like this, it starts to go up like this. So it is called ascending colon. That's why it's called uh, ascending colon, because it is moving up. And then descending, we call it descending because it's moving down. When the food comes like this, then it goes like this. So it is descending, but it's the same thing is colon, or oh, it's a large intestine. Then when it comes like this, it it, it, it joins this uh, jejunum. Jejunum is a small intestine. Then this one is also a small intestine. Duodenum is also a small intestine. And ileum is also a small intestine. So all this from this part until this part, all this part you see coiled is small intestine but it's also divided into three major parts which is the duodenum the jejunum and the ileum all of them are small intestines where um absorption and final digestion takes place so uh, basically those are the major parts of the digestive system uh, the first one is um uh, if you talk about um the salivary gland Saliva gland produces um, a moisture, number one, moisture, it produces moisture. Number two, it produces an enzyme called uh, amylase. This one is very important in, in digesting the food, starch into um, uh, 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 maltose. It, it converts uh, starch into maltose. And then we, ha we have, um, uh, you have the, the, the mouth or the bureau cavity. This one is very important in, uh, in, in mixing and breaking down breaking down the what? Uh, the, the food. When you open, if you have a big mouth, then it means that you're gonna take in more. This one uh, is very important in swallowing. Remember that you cannot speak as you, 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 you swallow. It cannot happen. It's because of this, this part. So this one closes when you breathe and then you cannot breathe out or breathe in as you are swallowing at the same time. So it, it closes, then air goes this side. Then it, 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 it opens, then this one closes, then air come, uh, food comes this side. And if by mistake you, you eat while talking, then if food goes this side, then automatically you're going to start, it's going to choke you. Also, Fagas, we're going to look at it in detail. Uh, how does it, how does it uh, bring about the movement of food into the stomach? Even if you're upside down, still the food will go uh, to the stomach. And then you have the stomach. Stomach is very important. Breaks down the food. It makes it into a chime. So the stomach produces um, HCl. HCl is an acid. That's why if you don't eat, uh, you find out that you, you, have, you hear those sounds, uh, acid is being produced. If you keep on chewing, 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 and then you don't eat, still these acids will be produced and then you will make the, or the stomach to be burnt. And then you suffer from what you call the um, stomach ulcers or what we call um, gastro ulcers. And then, uh, then it, it also has mucus. It produces mucus just to protect the walls of the what? Of the, of the, of the stomach. And then you have the pancreas. Pancreas also is a part which produces a number of, of digestive uh, enzymes. These enzymes are very important in breaking down uh, the food. We're going to look at them uh, still in detail. I say that this from here until here, we call it a uh, small intestine. So we find out that final digestion takes place here in this small intestine. So you'll find out that um, uh, small intestine, this one, you've, you complete the digestion. So, and absorption also takes place here. A lot of digestion and absorption uh, are taking place in this uh, field. So if this is, you don't have this part in the body, then it means that you're going to uh, suffer from hunger. Even if you eat, the food will just go out without being absorbed. So uh, then it means that mm, then you have the large intestine, this part. You see this part? This part is a large intestine. This one basically is absorption of, of, of water into the blood. And then number two, um, storing the feces uh, temporarily uh, because uh, if the, you look at this, it's also part of the large intestine. Large intestine has this, uh, it has this. 
and then it has the colon and then it has this so uh this one is towards the feces the rectum feces just temporarily if it stays here for so long it means that water will be absorbed too much and then you suffer from constipation and then you have this uh this is just uh to absorb the colon is just to absorb uh the water in uh, into the what the blood so that's why that people who are having diarrhea they are they, they are dehydrated very fast why because they don't have enough water so uh basically uh that's it uh let's look at uh, the different types of digestion we have uh two types of digestion number one you have the mechanical digestion number two you have the chemical digestion mechanical digestion means that uh there is no use of enzymes sometimes we call it physical digestion so what do you use here if you don't use enzyme you use energy when you break down eh, with your teeth you are using energy when the stomach walls eh, the gastro walls uh, they are trying to break, uh, squeeze the food. Eh? It's using energy, so it it is is called mechanical digestion. Then you have what you call the chemical digestion. This one it uses, uh, it uses what you call um, uh, enzymes or chemicals. Enzymes are chemicals which uh, help or which speed up the rate of chemical reaction. Then now we are saying that you have mechanical and physical, mechanical or what you call the physical digestion.